Hi, my name's Emma. I'm a certified Dubsado specialist. And in this video, we're going to talk about invoices. So particularly, we're going to talk about manually sending invoices or creating custom invoices for projects. So inside the project, you're going to go to the invoices tab and you're going to click add. So once you hit add, you're going to see it has an invoice number and it has the date of today. And you're going to add the packages that you've created inside of your package templates. So as you add them, I didn't mean to add that one. Let me remove it and add another one. The cool thing is at this point, you can customize this still. So you can click edit. So if some of the packages need to be tailored um, in terms of quantity or even price, you can do that right now. So let's say you need you know, 10 of these and you're going to change the price to 175 and then you click save. So just make sure you save so that it takes. And then um, this package, you know, you want to make it 1500, let's say, and hit save. And this add on you need like, you know, 100 of those and hit save. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to go into specific niches. But you know, here is a total for uh, 4750. Okay, so you can create your own payment plan here, but if you've already created the template, you can simply select and apply. Okay, so uh, the project end date here is July 7th, uh, July 3rd, sorry. So you can see that it knows that on July 3rd, there's one of the installments is due, and those reminders are set here. So two days before, the day of, and three days after. So the important thing to know with payment plans is that once they pay, the next reminders that you've set are not going to send, okay? They gray out. You'll see that, you know, marked paid and the other ones kind of blur out. They're not going to happen. So that's good to know. Um, so these two installments of the contract signed and 60 days after the contract signed, it's not giving me a date because the contract hasn't been signed, okay? So I am going to simulate signing the contract and then to show you what's going to happen. OK, so this contract has been signed. So now you can see the installments sequentially, right? All the dates have been populated. So now Dubsado's put them for you in order. This one was zero days after contract signed. Here's the amount. And the, this one only has a reminder three days after the due date, which makes sense. You don't want them to sign the contract and immediately that day get a reminder that they owe an invoice because you may not even have sent the invoice yet. Okay, so the important thing here is to send this invoice out quickly because they're going to get a reminder on February 27th that um, they owe money. So if they haven't even received the invoice, but they're receiving something that says it's past due, it's kind of weird. So I've seen some people not even put reminders on that first installment just to make sure that things um, happen in the order that they want, okay? And that's where workflows come in handy because you can automate all of this, so it, it's all going to make sense. Um, then the next installment was 60 days after contract signed, which is April 25th. Here's the amount. This one does have all of the due dates. And then project end, you know, zero days after project end date, which is July 3rd. Here's the amount and the due, due dates, right? So once this is all ready to send out, all you're going to do if you're manually sending it is send via email, right? You can choose from your canned emails here. If you have one that you want to send out, um, you can just change it right here and send it out to your client and that would be it, okay? If this is going to be applied to a proposal, having this portion here done with the packages and then referencing it in your proposal template. And that's in the proposal video to show you how to pull an invoice into a proposal so you don't have to select packages so that it's a custom proposal. You can go look at that. Um, but it requires you setting this up so that it shows in your proposal. And then you can go ahead and send the proposal instead of sending the invoice. And if you have proposal attached to a contract, attached to an invoice, it's going to send it all together with the proposal, which is pretty cool. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can put them in the comments um, and I'll see you next time.